Good morning. It is... No, I need my coffee. No, wait. Okay, now hello. Now I have my coffee. Now we're good to go. So hello, welcome. Today is the 10th of December. It is the 10th day of Advent. And as I am setting these up, it's starting to get a little bit... Like it's double digits now. We're getting into it. This is, this is exciting. I am... It is Saturday, the 10th. I have slept in a lot. I've done basically nothing. The washing machine is on because that is the first sort of domestic thing I've done in a while. <laughs> I really need to get better at this. I am... Oh, let's do advance and then let's chat. So, going in the way that we normally do. This is the Ash and Eve Steampunk and as it is the 10th today, I believe we will have a tweed. Yeah. So this beautiful tweed, whoop, let's try that again. This beautiful tweed is called Brass and it comes with this brass darning needle or brass colored darning needle, which I think is really fun. So what a cool way of adding that in. Day 10 for Daffodil Road Yarns is Black Current. This is just so beautiful. I I'm obsessed with this fade. Like, I'm just loving it. I, okay, day 10 of Wool and Works. Ooh. This is a lovely bright blue. So, I always love seeing how Chloe's yarns continue in the spectrum. And we've got that blue starting to come into here and it's coming out. Oh, that's so much fun. opened this and then I was like where is the tag what the heck is going on no no I opened up the circus tonic one before I did the Olivia and Oliver one so this is circus tonic and this is day 10 that's a really pretty fade well not fade but like tonal that's what I'm looking for like variegated very pretty words <laughs> yay and ooh, now for Olivia and Oliver So I've got some Thai lemongrass chai, which sounds like a really interesting combination. It is cinnamon, lemongrass, coconut, pineapple, ginger, black and pink pepper and cloves. I think once I've done my coffee, I might try this because that is something that I would really love to give a go. And this is the inspiration picture for today. And this is the skein so it's called Wat Aran Wat Aran or the Temple of the Dawn in Bangkok is an ancient temple dating back to the Ayutthaya period it derives its name from the Hindu god Aruna often personified as the radiations of the rising sun and is no one of the best known of the Thailand's landmarks so that is Olivia and Oliver that is beautiful I'm just looking at, I've got them all laid up here, so I'm looking at how it's going to fit in. It's just so pretty. So yesterday, yesterday was a very big day. I had work at the, uh, just all my classes are beautiful. It was my prac student's last day and I, one of my classes I was sharing with her and she just, they were so beautiful and generous with her and not like giving anything, but just like their time. They were really considerate and caring. And I thought that was really like amazing for them. Then I taught uh, all the way through the day and then I had one of my other classes, the one that I was doing the class photo with and simultaneously the memorial moment. That went amazingly well. Uh, so I basically, I just said to them, uh, on the candle, on the flame, you can say a prayer, you can say whatever you want to. It can be out loud in your head. It doesn't matter to me. Like, it's it's for you. It's not for me. All I'm doing is facilitating this. I don't need to hear it. That's It's not my place if you don't want me to. But we're going to end it with giving a gratitude. And so many of them were just so beautiful and they all gave gratitudes and it was just a really uplifting moment. I did this one-on-one -on -one or in small groups so I wasn't in a big group and at the same time I had the boys playing drift boss or trying to look out the window. So it was a definite 
definitely a weird day but it was really beautiful and I know that the impact it had on the kids was really profound. Uh, I had my class photo, that was hilarious. We had a silly photo and yeah, just typical, like their personalities just came out so much. I also, I was talking to a friend, so we're doing a uh, like secret Santa at work and I have my present here ready to go and <clears throat> one of my friends, she pulled out another name of the lady who sits next to me and I love her and she was saying to me, she's like, what should I do? I'm thinking this or this and I was like, oh my goodness, if you're going to Lush, I have all these empties, you can take them back and you can get some stuff for it. And she was like, yes, that sounds amazing. So she, I gave her this big bag of all my empties and she took them in and as a thank you, she got me some things. So I am coming to you with no makeup on because I'm trying to decide which of these two I am going to use first. So this one is Glen Coco and it's the main girls. You go Glen Coco. And this is uh, almond butter and cocoa powder. Oh. Okay, it looks like poo in a cup, but it smells like chocolate pudding. And then this one is Rosy Cheeks, uh, Turkish Rose Oil, Rose Petal Infusion, white, Rose Clay, and Kaolin. That one is a lot more, you can see the clay in it, it's a lot more simple. I might do the Rose Clay one. I'm going out tonight and I think the Rose Clay might be something that would be a bit nice. So I'm going to tuck these into the fridge and enjoy them. So, uh, after I got given those, which was so beautiful, and I had my amazing day with my kids, and they're just, oh, like, this is the time of the year where I've gone from, like, drill sergeant and, like, do this, do this, to just, like, hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? Let's just chill. Let's chat. Let's have a go. And so many of my kids, because I'm so known for knitting, and so many of them watch this, so, hi, guys. Seriously weird, but hello. <laughs> Uh, then some of them have actually said to me like, hey miss, can you teach me to like sew and stuff? And I'm like, no, because I need it. They're like, yeah, like teach me that. Uh, and so some of them on Thursday, that which is the last day, they've actually asked if they can come into my class and if I can teach them to knit. I have no idea how I'm going to do that, but I think it could be fun. So I am going to maybe prepare just a little bit for the kids, uh, just even... Maybe I'll get the two beanies up to a point, uh, the Musselburg hat, Musselboro, whatever it is, uh, which is going to be a gift, and the cowrie uh, beanie as well, which is also going to be a gift. I might get them past the, the Musselboro, past the increases, and the other beanie past the brim, and then I'll get them so they're just in the round for a little bit. I'll put some dental floss in as well, always, so you can always get it back. Such a good idea. And then I might let the kids have a go. Uh, I think that might be a really smart way of doing it. It's really beautiful and I'm really honoured that they want me to teach them. Um, yeah, today has been pretty much nothing. Like it's been, I've basically done nothing. It's It's been really nice. I'm definitely, my voice is still up and down. I am living on a solid diet of soothers, <laughs> trying to just protect what is left of my voice. But it's just, yeah, this is the, this is the time of the year that I love. The last update I've got, and this is going to throw some of my plans out of whack, but I arranged to have a professional photo shoot of me and some of my knits in late January. So now I have to go and design all the knits so that I'm ready to go in late January. So I'm just looking at the pile, I've got some stuff on my bed, I'm thinking I will definitely do, I've got, I mean, I've got to do the muscle bar beanie because it's a gift. Uh, I will be doing the uh, the cowrie beanie because uh, that's also a gift and that's going to be my design. Uh, so the yeah, cowrie is my design. I want to see if I can do some of the eucalyptus ones. See if we can even get two tops out of three. That's a goal. It's a very ambitious goal, but I can see if I can do that. Uh, do the merino silk that I've been knitting on. That's been my car knitting and. I'm sitting on the huge pile of loom yarns and so I'm about to put them into a cute 
a system that actually works. And then I'm, I've been looking through, where are we? I was looking through my stitch dictionary. This is Japanese knitting stitch Bible, which is one of my most loved. You can see I have dog eared it everywhere. And I think that either of these two, it's going to be a wide wrap. And I've got that many minis that I think I should be enough. Uh, but I'm thinking either of these two, they're only 16, this is 16 rows and this is 12 rows. So I think maybe the 12 row one, and of course I will make it my own because that is the point of being a designer and doing my own thing. But I'm thinking if I do something like that, uh, that would be quite beautiful. And I do think that that would work really well for the pile of minis. And then I would have them ready for the photo shoot. I've also got some of my scarves, I've got some of my tops that I'm also going to be running up. So this is going to very much keep me busy and I'm just super excited. I've been needing a push and I decided to give myself a push and I'm feeling pushed, but it's really good. Uh, which one would you like to see? So this is going to be for a bunch of minis. It will be like a neutral palette, but because it's minis, I feel as though this is something that's harder to design for because it, you're not like four skeins go. Like this is more of like a loosey goosey. So this is number 13 and this is number 14. Which pattern do you think you would knit a wrap in? Of course, I'm going to make it my own, but which basis? That is it for today. I probably won't show you going out tonight just because it's at a party and it's a bit of like a closed event and I don't want to jump on anyone's privacy. I will definitely bring you with me tomorrow because I am going for brunch with one of my good friends who you came with me uh, on the very first day. That is Lauren and she brought me dumplings. So we're going to go out for coffee and pancakes tomorrow and I'm so excited. I love these pancakes. And yeah, you're going to see me tomorrow. And then I'm also going to go and try on brides my dresses for my best friend. And I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. This is going to be amazing. So yes, I will see you soon. I hope you are having such a wonderful advent. And please do chat with me. Let me know how you're going. All right. I will see you very soon. Bye.